DJI drones are safe. Now, this is not an opinion by me, but this is actually a report that has just been released by the Dutch Drone Association. And they have detailed from the from 2011, they've gathered so much information and they can officially say, without a doubt, that DJI drones are safe. And we're going to get into this. Hi everyone, Stephen from The Flyby Guys. Now this is a story which has kind of went under the radar over the past couple of weeks. This was just released a couple of weeks ago and uh, there's only one news source that has really reported this and that was SUAS News. Everyone else has been focusing on leaks and stuff, you know. Uh, but this, I think this is an incredible piece of information that we, and, and we need to get this out. So please make sure you watch to the end and share this because this is good news. This is actually really, really good news. Now, we know what's happening in manned aviation right now. Things are not great. Uh, safety is a, a is a bit of a low at the moment, but this is something which happens nearly every day. So there are accidents, incidents, you know, people are killed uh, and, and obviously people are, are, are being injured, but there's also incidents happening in manned aviation. But when we look at the unmanned side of aviation, not much happens. Now, we've had a couple of months where we've had a couple of instances, but I, I think that when you look throughout the, you know, the bigger picture over the past few years, I mean, really, there's not much happened, and actually, drones are safe. But from the Dutch Drone Association have just released a report which indicates that drones are safe, and DJI drones in particular. Now, this information has come from the Enterprise uh, drones because those were the ones that were actually participating in the in the survey. Now, I'm sure that many of you, if you were asked to share your log files, you probably wouldn't want to do that because you're not so happy about the privacy issue. Now, this was something that was asked by the uh, enterprise, um, let's say, community in, in the Netherlands. Uh, they were asked to share their, their uh, flight logs, which they did. And the data that came out was very, very surprising. Now, there is, now, before we get into that, I want to talk about an organisation uh, which deals with a lot with the regulation that goes on, and they, they're kind of an advisory board, uh, and that's JARUS. Now, JARUS are, are, are made up of pretty much most countries in the world, from the US to the UK and you know, many parts of Asia, all of Europe, Africa and whatnot. And they're basically the governing bodies that basically advise about the unmanned side. Now they don't take everything they say, but they, you know, there's a select amount of information that they give from the advisory. And Jaros are doing a good job. Don't get me wrong, they are. I know many people in the Jaros board. Now, a lot of the data that has come from the Dutch report really doesn't make Jaros look that great, to be honest with you. But I think this is a good thing that we need to get the data out there and we need to uh, give hard data because I think that. The, the, what Jaros has been working with has been no data and it's just been based on assumptions, basically. So, what are we looking at here? So, this report is basically indicating since 2011 that, uh, uh, and that's, and that's 1.4 million flight hours. That's a lot of hours that, 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 that they've gathered this data from. And, and basically, what it's actually saying is that uh, drones that have lost communication or drones that would lose communication. It's come from one in one million. So one drone in a million drones would lose communication. Now, that's actually pretty staggering, right? But what did Jaros say about that? Okay, what Jaros actually said that it was one in 10,000 drones. So one in 10,000 drones compared to one in a million. That's quite a difference, actually. That's quite a difference. Now, this should have an effect on any future uh, you know, um, you, you know, let's say SORA applications, authorizations, and whatnot. Now, I hope the authorities are using this because it's hard data. Now, drones that would be leaving that would be leaving the operational area. What came out from the Dutch authorities was one in one hundred thousand, and what did Jaros say? It was one in ten thousand again. So again, there's this kind of number that they're using that one in ten thousand. Now, you know, obviously, they are working on. On, on averages and stuff like that, but here we have the hard data. Now, I will leave a link to that report in the description below so it's easy for you to see. The drones that were used in this, that they were using were the DJI M300, the M350, the M3D, 
the M30 uh, and the Dock 1 and the M30D, I think they're just there as well, and also the Flycat 30. Now the Flycat 30 came out as the most safest drone of all. I find that quite incredible because <laughs> it's a big drone obviously. But there's a lot of engineering into that drone, so this seems to be the most safest drone of all. Now, is now now obviously we don't have your minis and your Mavics there because those were not you know you know the data was not shared. But I think that we should, and I know for a fact that the um, that the, the, the Europeans are looking for this data. They're looking for data from pilots in order to make sure that we can see the average. But a lot of people don't want to do that because they don't want to share this information. They don't want to, you know, if there's been incidents, they don't want to be accused. But a lot of this information, of all this information has been gathered and it was anonymous. That was stated from the very beginning. Uh, and of course, there's a lot of mistrust out there and I do understand that. But here we can see that when we get that data, that it makes a difference. And this is the point. So now we can say that drones are safe. They are safe. The data is here. We can see that. What do you think about this? I'm really curious to what you think. And would you like to participate into a data gathering information from your flight logs so that we can actually know officially that drones are safe. I would be really like, I would really be keen to know that because I am part of the uh, Joint European Drone Association and this is something that we are discussing because we want to gather this data and we want to gather it anonymously. It would be really good to know what you think about this. No matter where you are in the world, safety is important, but the unmanned side, we really need to nail down and specify that this is a safe industry, which it is. So until then, fly safe. <laughs>